And staying with security matters, army authorities say the troops of Operation Lafia Dole currently carrying out Operation Deep Punch 2 in Borno State have captured a top Boko Haram commander and chased out insurgents hiding in the Sambisa Forest and Lake Chad Basin area. A statement from the Deputy Director of Public Relations of Operation Lafia Dole, Colonel Oyema Munyekachuku, says that the insurgents were intercepted while attempting to escape. The statement adds that troops recovered several arms and ammunition from the insurgents, while two soldiers were injured in the process. According to him, troops also carried out different offensive against insurgents in Kamziro, Figi Crossing Point, Isa General Area, and Parusi, uh, that would be Parisu area of the forest where five terrorists were killed and several others injured. Some of the items recovered include a motorcycle with 10 bicycle tires, a bicycle, three Boko Haram flags, one solar panel, five drums of Guinea corn, AK-47 rifles and magazines, a dummy rifle and a toolbox among others. The rise in cases of robbery in taxes in Abuja, popularly called One Chance, has forced the Federal Capital Territory Police Command to re-strategize on how to improve security in the capital city by clamping down on unregistered taxes and motorbikes. The Commissioner of Police, who doubles as the chairman of the Abuja Joint Task Force, attributes the rise in cases of minor crimes within the FCT to the proliferation of such unregistered means of transportation which often allows criminals to leave without a trace. Report. Motorbikes, popularly called Okada, and taxis are popular modes of transportation in Abuja. While the taxis can operate anywhere within the federal capital territory, Motorbikes are restricted to the satellite towns. However, a rising trend has recently developed in which taxis and motorbikes ply the roads without registration numbers, which should be the first means of identification. And they never asked for flat number for Lugwe before. Nobody asked for I, If they said we should do flat number, we should do one. Because every use of lots of things, they never did suffer for flat number before. If the government you want me to do, and you go do. So government, you know, you know, you know challenges say, come do flat number. If the challenge is do flat number, you go do one now. The absence of such registration numbers have often rendered passengers who are victims of robbery in taxis, also called one chance, unable to identify their assailants. It is a situation the police are promising to address. It doesn't only constitute a security threat, but in fact it is an offense to drive a vehicle or ride a motorcycle without registration number. That in itself is an offense. Even though I know there are so many agencies now that are there, so you wouldn't know who is who is to do what. That may, but, uh, that may be the reason that brought about this confusion. But on our own part, at uh, the Nigeria police, and also try to synergize with others and uh, ensure that uh, we enforce law and others uh, within the FCT. Although officials of government agencies responsible for the enforcement of the law on registration numbers agree that it is illegal for taxis and motorbikes to be unregistered, the implementation of this legislation remains very weak. It's uh, that just that uh, it has been very cumbersome. It can be very complex. Uh, attacking the menace of uh, motorbikes because of the influx, because of the uh, their nature. If you have to do that, you will need uh, a lot of, uh, let's say, trucks to implant such uh, bikes for a vehicle not to be registered or not to flag a number plate is illegal and from the security point of view like you rightly said it could be used to commit an offense and they will not be able to trace them from the city center to the satellite towns there is a growing number of taxis as well as motorbikes without registration numbers and considering the rising security threat which has emerged as a result, it appears the authorities have a lot of work to do. Until then, commuters will have to be extra careful as they move around the capital city of Abuja.